and now a party political broadcast on behalf of Britain First. Can I get a pint of pride and some pork scratchings, please, sugar tits? Under the proposed Islamic caliphate of not-so-great Britain, you wouldn't be able to buy none of that in a pub no more. In fact, there wouldn't even be a pub. There'd be a mega mosque, decorated with the severed heads of all your loved ones. Patriots, the lot of them. And outside that mega mosque, there'd be a fire with all your favourite books burning. Andy McNabb, Jack Higgins, Beatrix and Harry Potter, all consumed by flame. Well, I say no to that. Thanks, my love. Have a Bible. On May the 7th, I want you to make the right choice, with the right voice, with the right actions, with the right party. We are Britain first. We are the right party, with the right view on everything. We're far right. My grandfather died for this country. He died fighting a tyrant whose ideology brought him to convince an economically downtrodden post-war society that it was okay to murder millions of people because of their religion and ethnicity. My grandfather didn't die so we could have a society that let small-minded people come over here with their big ideas on how we should live our lives. He died so we could do that to them. Unlike the other parties, Britain First is a party that actually listens to the people we have manipulated into our way of thinking. Hard-working patriots, the lot of them. Some of those patriots have to work for a living because all the immigrants have come over and stolen their benefits. Some of those patriots wouldn't mind being on benefits and not working, but they can't. And we're listening to all of you, all your concerns. I'm scared of them f I'm coming in bombing the bollocks off us patriot Christians. The left-wing media will have you believe that there's no Taliban in this country. In fact, the left-wing media will have you believe that the island of Talibanistan isn't even a real place. Well, just because it's got a funny name and you can't get a package holiday there with Thomas Cook doesn't mean it's not a real place. Look at Islamaland, and they're proper naughty. I'm scared of my daughter getting smacked up and gang nonced by a bunch of arses pedo gangs. Britain First is the only party that's actively engaged in combat with Islamic paedophile grooming gangs. We have launched strategic attacks using memes on Facebook and Bebo. We have been inside mosques and handed out Bibles to Imams. Some so-called Muslim community leaders will have you believe that this is not just a problem in their community, but actually a problem within the pop world and Westminster. How ridiculous. I have obtained data from national newspapers. And every time there's a paedophile gang that has a Muslim in it, it is described as a Muslim paedophile grooming gang. People will tell you that there are other gangs out there that aren't Muslim ones. However, they are known as paedophile rings. We've all heard of gang rape, but have you ever heard of ring rape? Nonsense. Police have gone soft, they ain't do nothing. Scared of being called racist by paedophiles. It is a known fact that our police force is understaffed, underfunded and overcorrupt. What we need is a police to police the police. A secret police. And that secret police will assess what the real police do. In fact, nothing will go on without an assessment from an SS officer from the secret police. What about Muslims and how they affect the environment? Bumblebees, the harbinger of British summer will soon be no more. Our scientists have developed a new breed of bee, a telepathic bee. These bees communicate with each other using the power of their minds. We call them Psy Bees, and every Psy Bee is cloned from the very first bee that our scientists created. And we know, hands down, that this will fix the problem. We will fix the population with Cyclone B. Z what about that ISIS? I'm scared! The problem that is ISIS is a tricky little number. On the one hand, we want them all to go back to their own country. But on the other hand, we don't want them joining terrorist summer camps. Britain First will solve this problem both home and away. At home, we'll set up special camps for Muslims to concentrate on becoming real British. 
We'll surround them with OAPs or gas on about the old days, showering them with nostalgia. Away from home, we'll launch daily airstrikes on Syria and Iraq, dropping millions of King James Bibles upon ISIS. Because once they read about Jesus Christ, they won't want to be naughty no more. They'll want to eat tea sandwiches every day, and they'll become so bloody British that they'll be whistling God Save the Queen out their frickin' eyeballs. Great. I remember a country where a baby's smile would lighten up the darkest of rooms. Now when I see a baby smile, deep down I know that baby is just putting on a front. Britain First doesn't want you to have to put on a front. We want you to join us. This way, as a united people, anything that tries to ununite us will face us as a united front. A front of a nation. A national front. So on May the 7th, vote Britain first. Your struggle is my struggle. Come pitch your tent in my camp. Britain first, never wrong, always right, extremely right. Fuck off!